Over the last three and a half years, the hospital and the clinics have undergone drastic changes. Santa Clara Valley is a level one trauma center. One of the recent innovations is hybrid technology, uh, being able to have all of those services, interventional radiology, non-invasive vascular surgeons come to a patient without the patient moving from care area to care area. We want to work with our patients to address the reason why they ended up here in the first place. When they're here at the hospital, we have something that we call a teachable moment. They're laying in a bed, they're injured, and they're thinking, oh boy, I don't want this to happen to me again. We take that opportunity to have a conversation with them about what we can do to help prevent it from happening again. In our violence intervention program, we have maintained an 80 to 90 percent participation. And to be one of the top 100 hospitals with the lowest cesarean section rate is absolutely phenomenal. Hospitals around the county refer patients to Valley Medical Center for vaginal births after C-section. We're one of the only hospitals here to do them. The fact that all of our training programs have ACGME accreditation is a significant accomplishment. What that tells people is that we meet the higher standard of training. You know, when a patient presents for a clinic visit, whether it's specialty or primary care, they really expect that we know what else is going on with their care. Information about a patient is much more readily available to everyone who is involved with that patient's care. As we've moved from paper-based processes for patient care over to our computer system, which is called HealthLink, the robustness with which a hospital and clinic system has implemented technology is measured using a HIMSS staging system. We are a few months away from being eligible for a stage seven designation, and that currently is held by only about 5% of health systems around the country. So when the patient arrives here, we all know what we're doing, we know what the expectations are, we know what our goal is and what we're trying to achieve. Beside our OBGYN program, we have the internal medicine, radiology, transitional, and also we have an OB fellowship program. All of our program receive hundreds more applicants than the spot that we actually can offer, and they also come from very well-known medical school. It's really changing our ability to deliver care from a reactive, waiting for patients to come to us, changing more to a proactive approach. Um, which patients, based on the data, need us to proactively contact them, get them in for an appointment, um, address gaps that they might have in their health care. So that's an exciting area that I think we are definitely a leader in. Providers and our staff did a really phenomenal job of a uh, massive cultural change in a short amount of time. The sense of pride comes from our commitment to the mission at Valley Medical Center. I'm very proud of the fact that these are my colleagues and I am privileged and humbled to be able to stand by their side. Valley Medical Center will continue to serve um, and be here for every single county resident who needs it. I go home every day feeling like I did something to make a life better. Three words for me, what it takes to work here and what keeps me here. Passion, commitment, and joy. I have great joy in my work.